So I had somebody who was a little bit standoffish, um, be it a friend request or whatever, whatever it may have been. I think I saw a video I liked and I would follow them. And they said, don't you realize I'm this kind of, you know, individual? And, um, and they based it on a few videos they see. And I, I got over, depending on what account, my, my main account's got well over 400 videos. So obviously they didn't, they didn't look that one up. And, um, but basically I, I just responded back to them. I'm poly ideological. Take it for what it's worth. And, um, and that was it. The irony is I think. I I don't get along with people who tell me I have to believe the way they believe. And by that, I also mean I simply believe in myself. I believe in my knowledge, and there you have it. So I could either be the smartest person in a one-man room, or I could be the dumbest person in a one-man room. Either or, it's just me. No one else is consequential at all. And the way I see it, for what it's worth, should be the same for everybody, whether it be atheist or theist. And because what good are you to a God if you're not good to yourself? Or what, what good are you to a God if you're not God-like yourself? What God would want someone who is, you know, uh, not worthy? So, and then if you look at the atheistic viewpoint, the atheistic viewpoint is be your own God, be your own Godhead. And um, that to me is applicable. So, and m m what really stood to me was uh, the order, order of nine angles has the thing called the ca causal and the acausal. And the acausal is your, your spirit or realm or spirit, you know, your, your, your ether, so to speak, and your causal is causal is your what happens on Earth, and I, my dichotomy is simply, you know, my, I do take a lot of an atheistic stance philosophically and psychologically while I exist here. I do believe when we die, our energy goes back into the Earth and cosmos. Very pantheistic in that respect. I don't believe in pantheism doesn't deal with deities because it, uh, essentially whatever you call a higher power is in everything and everything is into the higher power. So it, it, and I, my perspective is very more precise. It deals with energy as I, I do a lot of um, science reading, so to speak. And there was a, how much, how much does a soul weigh? And if you look into that, then you know that your brain releases two different times and two different parts of your brain releases uh, bioenergy. So that's my uh, a casual, so to speak. So for me, it's more analytical than spiritual, but yeah, it's analytical in a spiritual sense. Then you, you know, but a lot of people are very specific in their belief and how they label things, how they, um, you know, define things. And that's fine. But I, I ever watch a ghost hunting show. If they have a dark energy, they instantly call it a demon. Is it accurate? No, but that's their interpretation. So that's why I, I try to bite my tongue when it comes to other people's interpretation of what their version of Satanism is. You'll have the organizations tell you, but is it truly the definition that's out there that defines what you are? 